Greetings Space Engineers, this is Commander Chewbacca, formerly known as Commander Noodles and with the new update to beta and the new physics update there's been some significant changes so what we're going to do is we're going to start fresh on that series that we were looking at before quite a few years ago and hopefully bring back those videos so they're now relevant to where we should be at now so with no further ado we are at the main menu you should have a, a bearing or understanding of what these means continue game Continues the last game you played, new game starts a new game, load game, loads a previous save game you had, join games for the internet, options is for the game controls, character is obviously for your avatar. So we're going to go new game, and we can choose to do a campaign, but we are actually going to do custom game, and you have your options here, we're going to scroll using this scroll bar all the way down to the bottom, I'm going to click solar system, we're going to give it a name, So it's survival, offline is correct. We can have mods, it's not cheating. If you do, simply because if you add a mod, anybody who joins this game with you will also get that mod. And so there's no advantage. Advanced is very important in my opinion. I like to operate with a 10 times capacity for my inventory, but I leave everything else at realistic. Environment environment hostility is safe if you put it on normal cataclysmic or armageddon you will have asteroids coming down raining all sorts of problems i always put the asteroid amount at high density infinite and i'll leave the flora at medium i put the sound on realistic but you can choose to have arcade if you'd like i pretty much leave everything else per normal except for block limits i turn that off um, what will happen is if you turn it on and leave it on, you'll be building and it hit a point your computer will say you cannot build anymore, you've hit the block limit. Um, and the rest of it, I used to play with them, now I leave them as it is. Click the OK button and then we click Start. So once this comes out to the actual game, it'll bring us up to a spawn menu. If you don't get that and you're just a person stuck on a planet with nothing to do, hit your backspace key and that will give you a suicide option and then you have this screen at this screen here we have planetary lander for the earth planet a mars planet lander for the mars planet alien planet lander that's obviously for the alien planet these are all the same landing craft but that's on earth that's on mars that's on the alien planet and each of these planets have their own moon for the immediate part ignore this because these uh, will not give you the resources you need to set yourself up so we're going to choose planet lander and hit respawn this will respawn us over the top of the planet coming down in the atmosphere here we go and what we're going to do is we're going to hit v for victor so v for victor and then holding down the alt key that's the alt key we're going to use our mouse wheel and scroll back and that's going to zoom us out and then using your mouse you can holding down the alt key look around to see what you have now we struck pretty well off because we want to find a very good landing spot and the higher you are the easier it is to see where they're at we're in the best place to land if you've never done it before or you're starting on a new planet it's simply on a lake and we have a lake right underneath us the reason for a lake as a landing point is because it is true flat which means you don't have to worry about weird angles and all that it's a little easier to build your base so the controls of your lander so we hit v for victor hold down the alt key when you're inside and you can actually turn your head around so you can see there's my body we can see here scouting priorities construction priorities and so on uh, so obviously v is in external and first person point of view your mouse when you're not using the alt key will turn you around move you up and down your w is forward your s is backwards your a is left your d is strafe right the q button rotates you and the e button rotates you the other way and if you have a look you can see the horizon indicator there now this horizon indicator doesn't show you the level of the ground it shows you the level of the horizon and that's what gravity will draw you down on so what we're going to do is we're actually going to continue to land because we found 
our lake right here and we want to find minerals that we can mine that's going to help us get into space to get other items um, but primarily what we're looking for is iron now at the moment our ship is actually running off battery power and I'll go through that in just a minute um, so we want to look for iron and if possible uranium if we can find iron and uranium we're in a fantastic point where this is just going to work really well so what we're going to do in just a moment is we're going to drop down to three less than 100 feet and keep an eye on underneath you we want to make sure that we are actually above the lake directly above the lake we do not want to be above ground like that so we're going to move there we go and then we're going to drop down and we're dropping down to about 100 now you can actually I believe it's 170 but we're going to drop down to just under 100 and then that's going to allow our detector to show us what's around before we go any further I'm going to go through a few things here if you look at the bottom left corner you'll see the helmet and J if we hit J you'll see that now the helmet is gray and it looks like it's open and now it's closed so J is for your helmet X is for your jetpack and anything on the left hand side is all to do with your person O is to broadcast not too important unless you want to remote control or you want to talk to other people L is for lights on your suit and underneath that you have the plus sign and 100 that is your health the O2 sign at 86 that is my oxygen now if I hit J and close my helmet that 86 will go down to 85 because that's the amount of oxygen in my suit right now so that's keeping me alive we're going to open up now the other thing about the the suit and the oxygen is if you look about middle on the bottom you'll see O2 high when it's red it'll say O2 low and it'll it'll also have no O2 or you know it'll basically tell you that there is no oxygen in the area going back to the left hand side you'll see a lightning bolt that is your suit's energy your suit powers everything so your suit will power your drill your suit will power your um, devices to strip stuff down and your it will power your gun and it will power uh, your welder and then under that is your H2 now H2 is hydrogen so you have a jetpack and it's powered by hydrogen so your suit actually has a small amount of hydrogen in it, and when you're on the planet your hydrogen in the suit runs out really quickly so keep an eye on that to the right of that you see that semicircle area that is your speed so as we move forward you'll see my speeds moving forward and down Z dampeners off if we turn that off basically the computer relies on everything that we are doing to allow for things like forward movement it won't automatically stop us if I hit Z right now you'll see we'll fall I'll just hit Z again and the reason for that is because it, at the moment it's counteracting gravity so when you have dampness on and you push forward you release your forward the dampness automatically put you to uh, your reverse thrusters on so you stay steady and you're not moving at all underneath that um, you see cycle hub tab now if we hit tab this information is gone hit tab again information is gone hit tab again we're back up to the right of that you'll see a little picture of a backpack and a small amount of green or blue that is my inventory for my man underneath that you'll see it's got on and unlocked and that is my little control panel there and I can hit control two three four and we can store stuff in there if we hit G for golf so that's G for golf we can look at all this stuff you can right click and you can say um, toggle black on and off like that 
or we can remove it or you can even drag and drop where you want it okay the next on the right hand side you'll see a gravity that's artificial gravity and p gravity at 1.0 that's planet gravity also you have an indicator there for your horizon so do you see that circle and see how the line in the circle that's your horizon indicator right there so that tells us if we don't see that tab there there we go um, that line the horizon indicator we can use that one at the bottom to the right p is your park break which basically means once you've landed you can put your your p on and it will lock everything in place o is for um obviously broadcasting y it shuts everything down do not do that when you're hovering in the air because you'll fall like a brick underneath that you'll see the amount of weight the ship the vehicle it currently weighs including the inventory inside and also show you how much time you have left on your thrusters so right now we have one hour left on our batteries underneath that you'll see a lightning bolt with 14 to the left of them that is telling us we're using 14 percent of the available energy underneath that if it's saying h20 if we have a ship that's powered by hydrogen this is telling you how much of your hydrogen you're using at the time that's a very si simple and quick rundown of your hud so let's go and see if we can find some resources to mine so we're going to push forward a little bit and we're going to see if we can find hopefully maybe some uh, uranium and definitely some iron now one thing that's really important to do so there's some uranium let's see if we've got any iron around here if we have some iron here we have magnesium we have silicon okay so at this area we have some really valuable minerals and we want to know in the future when we're looking for silicon magnesium or uranium how are we going to find them again hit k for kilo and you'll see the screen click the gps button here and then go new from current position and then what you can do is click on here and then select this and type in uranium gold silicon and whatever else was in there and then hit x once you're done i think gold was in there but it, we get the idea and then we can keep going forward now one recommendation i have is hit g for golf when you're not moving go hit escape my apology hit i for india and under control panel what we're going to do is first of all see this atmospheric lander mark one turn that off for the moment save a bit of energy and then in the search area so click on there and type in thrusters click the first one hold down the shift key and click the last one while holding down the shift key and the block group type thrusters and then click on the backward thruster and hold down the control key and click on the second backward thruster and then say back thrust and hit save hit x on there g for golf and then what you're going to do is these are the groups that we just created we'll see them there's your back thruster and your thrusters drag that down there or you can right click and say toggle block on and off so now if we hit three we will no longer go backwards have reverse thrust applied when we release the forward thrust which means if you watch the time it's gone from one hour to 48 minutes back to one hour we're not finding the ship every time we want to fly somewhere we're getting a bit of free energy so to speak so what we're going to do now is we're just going to coast along and we are going to look for some iron now we know where uranium is so if we need to get some uranium which is the important part because we can power the ship with uranium then we know where to go to get some uranium but what we're looking for ideally is iron and uranium so let's see what we can find while we're doing this i am actually going to speed up so be with me and we're going to speed up this process so you, when you come back you will quickly see a speed up process until we find what we're looking for
Okay, folks, so what we've got here is we have found iron. So let's see if there's anything else apart from iron here. We know that there's silicon and there's magnesium and there's uranium in this area. But the question is, is the iron by itself? It looks like it might be. No, we have iron, gold, and usually if there's gold, there's silver close by. And we have uranium. Okay, so this is our sweet spot right here. So what we have is we have iron, gold, and uranium. So what we want to do now is land. So there's a little trick to landing. So first what I do is I turn off my landing gear. You bring it close and you slowly descend just by tapping the C key just go tap C C C keep your speed to one to two kilometers a second and you can see here we're getting real close okay and then once you're done that hit Y once you've made contact hit Y and it will land just like that then hit Y and turn on your landing gear. Once you've done that, we've landed successfully, we're totally flat, we're good to go. So we're gonna go I for inventory to control panel. We're gonna choose the thrusters group and we're gonna turn them off. Save our energy. And that is essentially how you land after finding a good platform. And you can see there, there's a couple of hounds roaming around. That's how you find a good landing space with the materials that what you need. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish up here. And this is Commander Chewbacca signing out. But if you have any questions, let me know. And in the next episode, we're going to cover how to prep your landing craft to charge your batteries how to start your mining base, your first mine, and how to join your landing craft to that mine to power it. Thank you for watching. If you um, have enjoyed this, please click the subscribe and uh, please put in the comment bank anything you have, any requests you have on how we can make this better in the future. It's Commander Chewbacca, signing out.